Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the facts about Guard of Tomb of Unknown Soldier in USA. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. On Veterans Day, 1921, President Warren G. Harding presided over an interment ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery for an unknown soldier who died during World War I. Since then, three more soldiers have been added to the Tomb of the Unknowns, also known as the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, memorial and one has been disinterred. A few things you might not know about the historic site, and the rituals that surround it will be shown in this video. Number 10. There were four unknown soldier candidates for the World War I crypt. To ensure a truly random selection, four unknown soldiers were exhumed from four different World War I American cemeteries in France. U.S. Army Sergeant Edward F. Younger, who was wounded in combat and received the Distinguished Service Medal, was chosen to select a soldier for burial at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington. After the four identical caskets were lined up for his inspection, Younger chose the third casket from the left by placing a spray of white roses on it. The chosen soldier was transported to the U.S. on the USS Olympia, while the other three were reburied at Meuse Argonne American Cemetery in France. Number 9. Similarly, two unknown soldiers were selected as potential representatives of World War II. One had served in the European theater and the other served in the Pacific theater. The Navy's only active duty Medal of Honor recipient, Hospitalman First Class William R. Corette, chose one of the identical caskets to go on to Arlington. The other was given a burial at sea. Number 8. There were four potential Korean War representatives. The soldiers were disinterred from the National Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii. This time, Army Master Sergeant Ned Lyle was the one to choose the casket. Along with the unknown soldier from World War II, the unknown Korean War soldier lay in the Capitol Rotunda from May 28 to May 30, 1958. Number 7. The Vietnam War Unknown was selected on May 17, 1984. Medal of Honor recipient U.S. Marine Corps Sergeant Major Alan J. Kellogg Jr. selected the Vietnam War representative during a ceremony at Pearl Harbor. Many Vietnam veterans and President Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan visited the Vietnam Unknown in the U.S. Capitol. An Army Kesson carried the Vietnam Unknown from the Capitol to the Memorial Amphitheater at Arlington National Cemetery on Memorial Day, May 28, 1984. President Reagan presided over the funeral and presented the Medal of Honor to the Vietnam Unknown and also acted as next of kin by accepting the interment flag at the end of the ceremony. The interment flags of all unknowns at the Tomb of the Unknowns are on view in the memorial display room. Number 6, but the Vietnam veteran wasn't unknown for long. Thanks to advances in mitochondrial DNA testing, scientists were eventually able to identify the remains of the Vietnam War soldier. On May 14, 1998, the remains were exhumed and tested, revealing the unknown soldier to be Air Force First Lieutenant Michael Joseph Blassi was shot down near In Loc, Vietnam, in 1972. After his identification, Blassie's family had him moved to Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery in St. Louis. Instead of adding another unknown soldier to the Vietnam War crypt, the crypt cover has been replaced with one bearing the inscription, honoring and keeping faith with America's missing servicemen, 1958-1975. Number 5. The marble sculptors are responsible for many other U.S. monuments. The tomb was designed by architect Lorimer Rich and sculptor Thomas Hudson Jones, but the actual carving was done by the Piccarilli brothers. Even if you don't know them, you know their work, the brothers carved the 19-foot statue of Abraham Lincoln for the Lincoln Memorial, the lions outside of the New York Public Library, the main monument in Central Park, the DuPont Circle Fountain in DC, and much more. In June 2009 Arlington National Cemetery and the US Army Corps of Engineers announced that the monument was to be repaired, not replaced. In 2010, the cracks were filled but the repairs lasted only a few months. As of June 2011, the cemetery was struggling to repair the cracks in the monument, one of which measured 28.4 feet, 8.7 meters, long, with another at 16.2 feet, 4.9 meters. In September 2011, the cracks were filled again, 43, and on October 21, 2011, inspection by the Corps of Engineers and other experts pronounced the repairs a success. Number 4, the tomb has been guarded 24-7 since 1937. Tomb guards come from the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. Serving the U.S. since 1784, the Old Guard is the oldest active infantry unit in the military. 
They keep watch over the memorial every minute of every day, including when the cemetery is closed, and in inclement weather. The tomb of the unknown soldier is guarded 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and in any weather by tomb guard sentinels. Tomb guards are volunteers, part of the 3rd US Infantry Regiment, also known as the Old Guard. It is the oldest active duty infantry unit in the Army, serving the US since 1784. The honor of tomb guard is incredibly rare. The badge is the least awarded in the Army. It takes a high level of dedication to be a tomb guard. They work in 24-hour shift and when they aren't walking the mat, they are living in the quarters beneath it. During that time, they complete training and prepare their uniforms which can take up to 8 hours. Over the years there have been several different types of weapons used by the tomb guards. The changes in weapons reflect the changes in the army, including the M1903 Springfield rifle, M1 Garand and M14 rifles, and the M1911, M9 and M17 pistols. Tomb guards currently carry M14 rifles, which are affixed to ceremonial rifle stocks. These rifles are cleaned daily and kept ready for use at all times. Number 3, becoming a tomb guard is incredibly difficult. Members of the old guard must apply for the position. If chosen, the applicant goes through an intense training period, in which b they must pass test on weapons, ceremonial steps, cadence, military bearing, uniform preparation, and orders. Although military members are known for their neat uniforms, it's said that the tomb guards have the highest standards of them all. A knowledge test quizzes applicants on their memorization, including punctuation, of 35 pages on the history of the tomb. Once they're selected, guards walk the mat in front of the tomb for anywhere from 30 minutes to 2 hours, depending on the time of year and time of day. They work in 24-hour shifts, however, and when they aren't walking the mat, they're in the living quarters beneath it. This gives the sentinels time to complete training and prepare their uniforms, which can take up to 8 hours. Number 2. The honor is also incredibly rare. The Tomb Guard badge is the least awarded badge in the Army, and the second least awarded badge in the overall military, the first is the Astronaut Badge. Tomb Guards are held to the highest standards of behavior, and can have their badge taken away for any action on or off duty that could bring disrespect to the tomb. And that's for the entire lifetime of the Tomb Guard, even well after his or her guarding duty is over. For the record, it seems that Tomb Guards are rarely female, only three women have held the post. Number 1. The steps the guards perform have specific meaning. Everything the guards do is a series of 21, which alludes to the 21-gun salute. According to tombguard.org, the sentinel does not execute an about-face, rather they stop on the 21st step, then turn and face the tomb for 21 seconds. They then turn to face back down the mat, change the weapon to the outside shoulder, mentally count off 21 seconds, then step off for another 21-step walk down the mat. They face the tomb at each end of the 21-step walk for 21 seconds. The sentinel then repeats this over and over until the guard change ceremony begins. Changing of the guard is an elaborate ritual that happens every hour on the hour October 1st to March 31st, and every half hour from April 1st to September 30th. Visitors are welcome to watch the ceremony, but must stand and remain silent. The ceremony starts with the relief commander announcing the changing of the guard on the plaza, the tomb guard marches 21 steps behind the tomb, turns, faces east for 21 seconds, turns and faces north for 21 seconds, then takes 21 steps down the mat and repeats the process. After the turn, the sentinel executes a sharp, shoulder arms, movement to place, the weapon on the shoulder closest to visitors watching the ceremony. This signifies that the sentinel stands between the tomb and any potential threat. Doing things in increments of 21 symbolizes the 21 gun salute, which is the highest military honor that can be bestowed. What do you think of our list? Which of the facts about Guard of Tomb of Unknown Soldier in USA shocked you the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.